Hey guys, Miss Lauren Lee 11 here and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an easy no heat blowout on natural hair. First I'm going to be using this black castor oil miracle mask and it's a detangling mask from African Pride. This is my first time trying it but as you can see guys I have many tangles. I didn't condition my hair for this purpose because I wanted to see how effective this product was. So there you can see I am actually struggling to detangle my hair and I'm hoping that this product is going to work well. So what I do is I just used a small amount as you can see and then I'm just going to coat that onto my hair like I would do with a leave-in conditioner. Guys, I just want to state this has got amazing slip. It's also got the texture of a custard, let's say, and it's very, very slippery. And it, yes, it helped with those tangles. As you can see, I had no problem dividing my hair into sections after applying this product. So I would recommend it, guys. If you do want to try it, you can see the description details down below. And the price is $5.99. Next, I'm going to be using my afro comb or my wide tooth comb just to separate my tangles. And I'm going to start from the tips and work my way up. Next I'm going to be using this blowout cream from Dr Miracles and the reason why I'm going to be using a blowout cream even though I'm not going to be applying heat to my hair is because it has special polymers that attach to my hair strands that will keep my hair strands smooth and will also protect it from the heat from the sun outside. As you can see it looks very watery but it also has amazing slip so I'm just going to smooth that on top of the detangling conditioner mask just to give my hair that added protection. Okay guys, so next I'm going to be using a cotton t-shirt to get rid of any excess product from both products that I've used. Also, by getting rid of the extra moisture, it makes sure that it speeds up the drying time of my hair. So now guys, I'm gonna twist my hair as you can see what I'm doing here, just to make sure that when my hair's drying, it doesn't tangle back up on itself. Now this is not the complete process of how I do this, but this is the first step of how to get my hair dry and stretched. So all I'm doing here is just drying my hair and the second step which I'll show you later on in the video is how I stretch my hair to get that blowout look. So now guys, I've put my hair into four equal twists and I'm gonna let that dry for about a couple of hours, not dry 100%, but dry enough that I can then do the next step. Okay guys, so I left my hair to air dry in these twists for close to three hours. And what I'm doing now is unraveling it because I feel it's dried enough for me to do the next step. So what you want to do first is comb out your hair 
and it's mainly going to be the roots that are wet still but as you can see my ends are quite dry now So before I start the next step, I want to make sure my edges are laid, especially my roots. So I'm going to be using my Stay and Play Eco Edge Control just to make sure that they're laid nicely. Okay guys, so as I said you want to make sure your hair is laid nicely all the way down and then what you're going to want to do next is detangle as gently as possible. I know I look like I'm being a bit rough here but you want to detangle as gently as possible to make sure all the strands are lying flat so you can start twisting almost in the way that you would be doing a bantu knot. And this guys, this is the bit that will stretch your hair. So the hair strands themselves, they have to be laid as smooth as possible. So if you can see guys, my hair is taut but not tight. You want the strands themselves to be taut, but you don't want it to be tight where it's pulling at the scalp. If it's tight at the scalp, then you're doing it a bit too much and you may just want to loosen your grip a little. So now you're going to twist your hair into a bun, again as you would do with a bantu knot. Just as easy as this what I'm doing here and make sure you twist all the way down to your ends. And then you just want to secure it and you're just going to leave it like that to preferably stay like this overnight. I left my hair overnight but you could do this I suppose from the morning and take it out in the evening. But it's a cute little styling way to run some errands. So here guys, as you can see, I've tried to get my roots as smooth as possible. It doesn't matter if there's little kinks from curls in there, it's fine. As long as your hair is as smooth as possible. So guys, this is the next day. And voila! My hair is completely dry. Got a little bit of kink to it from the Bantu knot, but as you can see, my hair looks fully blown out. Looks healthy, looks full and bouncy. And this was all done with no heat. As you can see again, as I said, my natural hair looks nice and healthy. I still got those little bit of kinks at my roots, but it's fine. I don't want my hair dead straight and I've got what I attempted to get. So 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Let me know if you try this out and see how it goes. Um, this style, guys, I'm going to be showing you another hairstyle on Monday, what I'm using this blowout for. So tune in to next Monday, subscribe, and press that notification bell. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.